In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on May 25, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games. After after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Los Angeles Dodgers vs. Cincinnati Reds The Los Angeles Dodgers, with a record of 33-19 overall, 27-25 against the run line, and 27-24 to 1 over under, are set to clash with the Cincinnati Reds, who hold a 20-30 record, 25-25 against the run line, and 24-24 to 2 over under, in the second game of their three-game series this Saturday evening. Thus far, the Dodgers lead the season series 3-2. Heading into this match, the Dodgers find themselves on a slight losing streak, yet their performance on the road has been commendable with a 14-9 record, and they boast one of Major League Baseball's top offenses. Conversely, Cincinnati has struggled lately, ranking among the weakest teams in the league. Despite this, they managed to secure a victory in the series opener. The Reds have grappled with offensive challenges throughout the season, and now they're up against Bueller who showcased an exceptional performance against them in his recent outing. Although Hunter Green also pitched impressively against the Dodgers in his last start, my confidence in the Reds' ability to secure consecutive victories is limited. Therefore, the Los Angeles Dodgers' money line is our full-game side pick. Cincinnati's bullpen has demonstrated resilience this season, holding a respectable 17th rank in earned run average and 12th in WHIP. Conversely, the Reds' offensive struggles have been glaring, positioning them among the weakest offensive teams in the league. They currently sit at the bottom of the rankings for team batting average, 28th in OPS, and 20th in home runs. Against Walker Buehler, their performance has been particularly dismal, managing only a .171, .194, and .229 slash line over 35 at-bats. Buehler's dominance was evident in his last outing against them, where he held the Reds scoreless over six innings while striking out a season-high seven batters. Another low-scoring affair seems likely, making under the projected total as our full game total pick. New York Yankees vs. San Diego Padres Saturday night marks the second game of a three-game series between the New York Yankees and the San Diego Padres, set to take place at Petco Park. The Padres faced a significant setback with the loss of Xander Bogertz, who is expected to be sidelined for the next two months due to an injury sustained while diving for a ball during Monday's doubleheader. As a result, Luis Ariz has stepped into cover second base, while David Peralta was called up from AAA El Paso to fill Bogertz's spot on the active roster as of Wednesday. Prior to his injury, Bogertz held a batting average of .219 with four home runs, but his defensive prowess was a valuable asset to the Padres in field. Despite a strong start to the season, C struggled in his recent outing and will now face a formidable Yankees team that leads the majors in OPS. New York has been on a hot streak, winning nine of its last 11 games overall and five of its last six away games. Additionally, the Yankees have emerged victorious in five of their last seven matchups against San Diego. Meanwhile, the Padres have faltered in their recent home games at Petco Park, losing four out of the last five. Notably, the Yankees rank second in both on base percentage and slugging percentage third in run scored, and fourth in batting average. On the pitching front, they lead in earned run average, WHIP, and batting average allowed, while ranking eighth in quality starts. Starting pitcher Marcus Stroman has been particularly impressive in his last two outings, conceding just five hits and one run over 13.1 innings. On the other hand, San Diego starting pitcher Dylan Cease has struggled in his past two starts, giving up 14 hits and eight runs in 9.2 innings. In his most recent outing against Atlanta, Cease allowed five runs in just four innings while issuing three walks. Despite the favorable odds for San Diego at home with Cease on the mound, the team has consistently underperformed, especially against strong opponents. The Padres have experienced difficulties in critical moments and have been shut out in three of their last five games. Although they possess talent, their inconsistency has been evident, with a pattern dating back to last season. In contrast, the Yankees are riding a wave of momentum, with Stroman settling into his role with the team. Given these factors, the New York Yankees' money line is our full-game side pick. 
While New York boasts a formidable pitching staff, their hitters have been productive, often contributing to high-scoring games. In fact, the total has gone over in four of New York's last five games and in four of their last six road games against San Diego. Additionally, the total has exceeded expectations in seven of San Diego's last ten games, with both teams ranking high in runs scored. Over the projected total is our full-game total pick. Miami Marlins vs. Arizona Diamondbacks The Diamondbacks and the Marlins are set to clash on Saturday, May 25th. Arizona, with an overall record of 24-27 this season, enters the game with momentum, having secured victory in three of their last five matchups. On Friday night, Arizona sent Zach Gallen to the mound, but despite his efforts, they failed to provide him with adequate run support, resulting in a shutout loss. Throughout the season, the Diamondbacks have struggled to gain significant traction, particularly evident in their home record of 12-14. In contrast, while Miami holds one of the poorest records in baseball, they've experienced experienced a recent surge in form, winning seven of their last ten games, with their pitching staff showing marked improvement. Miami's choice to start Sixto Sanchez, a pitcher with high potential, is met with skepticism from some observers, including myself, as he has yet to deliver consistently impressive performances. Conversely, Arizona opts for Montgomery, who, despite early season setbacks, remains a viable choice. Despite Miami's recent resurgence, they still lag behind in the National League East standings, suggesting a potential shift towards selling off assets as the trade deadline looms. Additionally, Miami struggles on the road evident in their 7-15 record, compound the challenges facing Sanchez, who is still acclimating to major league competition after a hiatus. While the pitching matchup may not be the most captivating, the Diamondbacks hold the advantage, particularly with Montgomery on the mound. Given Miami's offensive limitations and their subpar performances away from home, consequently, the Arizona Diamondbacks' money line is our full-game side pick. Both the Diamondbacks and the Marlins will likely see their starting pitchers concede multiple runs in this matchup. Montgomery has notably struggled at home, evidenced by his 8.16 earned run average across three starts, while Sanchez has faced challenges on the road posting a 5.27 earned run average over six games. Given these pitching vulnerabilities, the spotlight is expected to shift to the offenses, suggesting that the total run scored will exceed the projected threshold. Therefore, over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.